What's going on guys? It's Danny from Stove Restoration and we are actually going to fire this up. Obviously, if you can see here, it's already been running. But we are going to fire this LQ9 with the Texas Speed MS4 Magic Stick 4 cam up with the Terminator X software with nothing else but then just this handheld. So we're not going to go in with any kind of laptop, um, no tuning tricks at all. Just simply selecting stuff through the wizard on the Terminator X. Stay tuned. So I recorded a bunch of this before, but uh, as you can see, now it does run. It sounds good. Um, it, it hasn't went through and learned everything yet. We're still uh, working the bugs out of the stand. We have our drive-by wire pedal set up here. Uh, we got the radiator mounted. I welded some, some brackets on here on either side to support the radiator. and made another little bracket here to take care of the expansion tank and uh, we're still working some of the bugs out with this stand but this thing is working and like i said you can't get any simpler than this because i didn't go in with any kind of tuning software other than what comes factory in the terminator x handheld here with and the easy way you can use your finger but the easy way is with the stylist so this is what we have to arm so we flick that on, you can hear stuff going on. The screen lights up, it's booting up now. It's already booted up, we missed it. So here's the LED lights. This tells you if anything's going on. And we're gonna hit wizard, GCF wizard. And we're just gonna walk through this real quick. Yes, yes, eight cylinder, firing rotor. We'll do six liter. Yes, target idle speed. We're gonna do like 1200 just to help it out a little bit. 1200, middle cam selection, 24 tooth, 60 PSI. Injectors are OEM and we are running those. No power adders at this time. Uh, internal one bar. So this is the Holly internal one bar. Next, oops. Be careful, sometimes when you hit this, this touch pad can be a little sensitive. And as you just saw, when I hit next, it actually selected the Chrysler one. So we're gonna make sure, internal one bar. Next, let's go back and, yep, it's still next. Sometimes it just is a little finicky. Internal one bar, next. Drive-by wire, yes. Transmission control not this time. Hit start. That's as, as simple it is to make a change. We probably didn't have to retune the whole thing. We probably could have went in and did it otherwise, but now we need to cycle the key. Wait until your, all your LEDs go out. There they want. Cycle it back on. Let it reboot. We're good to go. We're just gonna do a um, TPS auto reset. It operates the throttle body. You operate the pedal all the way down, all the way back twice, and then hit next. We successful, hit done. Um, so now we're gonna hit monitor, multi-gauge, and we were using gauge one. So so see, before we were a little off, we were at 102 or something like that. So now we're reading 100. So I'm pretty sure that scaling was just off. Um, so let's give it a shot here.
and we did work through a couple issues like i said this uh, we'll have to change this scaling for this particular uh, map sensor it doesn't seem to be in the software unless i just missed it but the easy way of getting around that is just hooking your vacuum line up and using the internal map sensor works for this application extremely well it's probably better that i do that on this run stand kind of eliminates um, different intakes i put on um, I, I don't have to uh, you know change a lot of the map sensors around stuff like that we just simply plug in a vacuum line and off we go don't think i showed this either we we did this little boot here and we do have our air intake temperature sensor in that boot so we are reading, let me turn this back on, we are reading intake air temp, um, pretty much everything except fuel pressure, I think. Here's the, let's go ahead and give this a shot. We'll key it back on, fuel pumps on, priming up. We're on to our vitals page here. Let's give it a shot. Throttle's working. So let's go ahead and uh, hit the key. We have fuel pressure, uh, spark plugs are in, everything should be good to go. See if it fires up. Yeah, fired. Give it another shot. Sorta, of, kinda. Not one the idle. Let's see if we can hit the gas here. Okay, so we may have to first we're gonna shut the camper door because we're filling it full of smoke. And second, we're gonna have to keep it running. I'm gonna set you up over here so you can see it and I can operate. So we went over everything don't don't worry about i i went back and look, looked at the footage it looks like it's smoking a lot that's fuel smoke that's not oil smoke like i said this thing was sitting for a while uh, um i don't have my temperatures on there so i'm gonna go in you can you can adjust uh these screens uh you can pick what dash you want and they're all customizable too they do do include the stylus so we're gonna hit dash setup Dash one is what we want to, we want to change gauges. Um, we'll pick something here. Um, we'll pick this one. We don't need the input shaft speed. So we're, we're just gonna change this around. So I want um, coolant temp sensor on here. Even though we don't have coolant running through it right now, it's still gonna read the temperature at the head and we'll do air intake uh, temperature also. We'll monitor all that as we're going. And until I get the water pump on, the radiator hooked up, we can't let it run all that long, but uh, definitely can let it run enough to uh, work some of these bugs out. So let me get this squared away and we'll fire it back up. All right, so as you can see, now we have our coolant temp sensor and our, man our manifold air temp sensor and they're real close right now because this thing's totally cooled off um, and the, everything's customizable and i'll show you how to do that in a little bit or maybe in another video we'll go further into that we'll see um, let's go ahead and try and fire this thing up and see if it will idle or not let's give it a shot we'll cycle the key here to prime it again let this reboot it's very quick let's back up Let's give it a shot.
So she it revs extremely fast. Obviously it's stalled there, but um, we definitely uh, need some fine tuning yet on it, but um, it's idling. It sounds really, really good. Uh, we let it run uh, a while um, while I was fine tuning all of this. The valve train sounds good. Um, it's probably hard for you to hear that kind of stuff on through the GoPro because the exhaust is so loud. We do have a small extension pipe on this side just to help that O2 sensor read proper. Um, but like I said, it's it's rich um, and you can see that smoke. It dissipates as soon as it goes out there. So it's, it's fuel. Um, it, it's definitely running a little rich. So let me go in and put air fuel on this thing too. We can monitor that as we go and we'll fire it up and see, see what we can do to fine tune this thing. Quick too, we did put some one chamber flow masters on the quieten this thing down a little bit and uh, we can hear a little bit more of what's going on with the engine. It does sound really good open header, but it is very loud. So um, lets us to see if there's any internal issues. So there you go, guys. If a dummy like me can do it, anyone can do it. So um, once we actually go through and fine tune some stuff and let it go through its learning, uh, procedures. There's certain things that have to be met before this thing will even start learning and self-tuning. One is it needs to be above 160 degrees and like I was saying before without the radiator hooked up which it is now so without the radiator hooked up before it just it, it didn't have enough time at that temperature. Once you hit 160 it hit 170, 180, 190 really really quick and it's really not the best to not have uh, water flowing through your block and heads. Um, so we have that hooked up anyway, and now we can let this Terminator X actually go through and learn itself, kind of self-tune, and we can also go in and smooth some of that out. And uh, we're gonna learn as we go with this. I'll keep everyone up to date as we run this. I don't know how long this engine will stay on the run stand. Um, it seems to be doing pretty good, but there will be another one on there and we'll keep learning as we go with the same Terminator X setup and the same run stand uh, setup. I, I put this thing together to hopefully be able to quickly and easily put engines on here and uh, get them fired up, get them tuned, broke in, what, what have you. Someone can come and listen to an engine and decide whether they want it um, I can put an engine together for someone, fire it up on this run stand, test it out, and then hand it over to them and they can actually hear it run. So uh, I do have just water in there so we can drain that out super quickly, unbolt all this. It looks like a lot, it looks kind of complicated, but literally everything unplugs and kind of folds over. Um, so really not that big a deal. Anyway guys, thanks for stopping by. Have a good day.